He tried to take her. In this 911 call, a woman who says she's the aunt of Kalia Jones can be heard begging for help for the 19 year old. The incident started at this wing stop on North Glen Street in Fayetteville. I need a police at uh, wing stop in Fayetteville. Don't get in the car, Kalia. She's not in the car. Wing stop in Fayetteville? Yes, please. This is an emergency. Don't but get in the car. What's going on there? He's making her get in the car. Like he's he making, he making her get in his car. According to Clayton County Police, 20-year-old Cameron Hopkins held Jones at gunpoint and forced her to leave the wing stop where she worked in his red Camaro. Right, it looks like they turned into the high school here, middle school. Hang on. Hi. This is the story of Kalia Jones, a lively 19-year-old whose life took a tragic turn. She found herself in a bad situation with Cameron Hopkins, her former boyfriend, in a relationship that would lead to heartbreak and horror. Kalia's promising life was cut short under the most chilling circumstances, leaving her loved ones and the community grappling with shock and grief. The devastating events that unfolded forever altered the course of Kalia's life. As the investigation continued, surprising truths came to light, exposing a dark plot. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Lovejoy, a tranquil haven nestled in the heart of Clayton County, Georgia. Here, amidst the picturesque charm of this town, a tragic tale of a young life unfolds. Meet Kalia Jones, a name that echoes the memories of those who were fortunate to know her. Kalia's journey began in Lovejoy, where she attended Lovejoy High School, leaving an indelible mark on the very fabric of her community. From a tender age, Kalia was a beacon of kindness and grace. With a heart as vast as her aspirations, she embraced life with a sweetness and humility that were truly extraordinary. Her days were graced with her radiant smile, one that seemed to light up the world around her. Even in elementary school, Kalia's presence was magnetic, leaving an enduring impression on classmates and teachers alike. Her grace and humility were as remarkable as her talents, which blossomed as she became a soaring eagles dancer at RCMS. Beyond her achievements, Kalia's genuine spirit and infectious smile were her trademarks. Kalia Jones and Cameron Hopkins had a relationship that was far from straightforward. While the exact duration of their connection remains undisclosed, it's evident that they were a part of each other's lives for a substantial period. However, as the layers of their bond are peeled back, a more complex narrative emerges. Amidst their shared past, there were glimpses of turbulence. Allegations of abusive behavior cast a shadow over what might have seemed like a typical romantic involvement. This complexity adds depth to the tragic sequence of events that eventually unfolded. A chilling crime took place on July 16, 2023, in Lovejoy, Georgia. 19-year-old Kalia Jones who was known for her infectious smile, found herself in the clutches of a horrifying situation. Cameron Hopkins, age 20, abducted Kalia from her workplace, a wings top in Fayetteville. The chilling incident happened one year to the day that Hopkins previously abducted Kalia at gunpoint on July 17, 2022, in a Walmart parking lot, after breaking her car window with a handgun. He forcibly dragged her out of the vehicle at gunpoint and coerced her into his vehicle before fleeing the scene. At the time, police said that Hopkins was upset that Kalia had threatened to end the relationship. Tragically, this time, Kalia would face an even graver fate. The horror didn't end there. After abducting her, Hopkins communicated his anger over their relationship's end and threatened violence against her to her family members over the phone. Cameron Hopkins was accused of kidnapping his ex-girlfriend, Kalia Jones, and shooting her before the police closed in on him. He faced charges including murder and aggravated assault. As the investigation proceeded, the dash cam video showed a police chase initiated by an officer after spotting Hopkins' car, which eventually led to a stop near Lovejoy High School. Mountain 90 coming up to Chelsea Drive. Radio, you contacted Great County Hours. He just hit a meeting, he's probably gonna go flat here shortly. 21 15 to 55, getting clear your phone. 
Gunshots were seen in the video, apparently fired from Hopkins' car. The body cam footage revealed the police's attempts to remove Hopkins from the vehicle amid the chaotic scene. Come out! Climb out of the window! Get out! Come out of the window! Come out the window! Come out of the window! I know you heard that! Hopkins was heard saying his girlfriend had been shot, but another officer expressed doubt about his version of events. Well, I, I think he's full of He said she had the gun and she shot herself. No, it was him. I could clean his day. He was coming around with and that's yeah. why I, I I'm just saying that's what yeah. he... Well, I know. Well, that's when you jumped out and I jumped yeah. out. I heard the shot. So I yeah. said... Kalia was discovered in the vehicle deceased. She had been shot multiple times with one officer stating that he witnessed Cameron shoot her. Sadly, Cameron Hopkins, who was now accused of the murder of his ex-girlfriend Kalia Jones, was out on bond at the time for kidnapping Kalia previously. A man accused of kidnapping and killing his ex-girlfriend in Clayton County while on bond for allegedly kidnapping her a year ago may have been free only because of a mistake by the prosecutors. As Zach Merchant shows us, Cameron Hopkins was granted bond last year after prosecutors missed a crucial court deadline. Dashcam video from July 16th shows Cameron Hopkins speeding away from police at close to 100 miles per hour. Police say his ex-girlfriend, Kalia Jones, was in the car against her will. And it wasn't the first time. A year ago, officers responded to a reported abduction in a Lovejoy Walmart parking lot. Arrest warrants allege Hopkins took Jones at gunpoint and drove away. Well, he said he was going to kill her. Kalia was eventually able to get free. Hopkins was arrested and faced kidnapping, aggravated assault, and other charges. I was like, good. He gone. I ain't got to worry about him. You thought that would over. keep Kalia safe? That would keep Kalia safe. Kalia's mother, Bridget Jones, thought with Hopkins behind bars, her family was finally out of harm's way. No matter what, we always are family. But then, police say, it happened again. Hopkins had been released on bond in October. And then, nine months later, dash cam video shows Hopkins speeding away from officers with Kalia in the car after police say he abducted her from work at gunpoint. A guy just came in here for one of my employees. He came in here with a gun. The chase ended at Lovejoy High School, where Kalia had just graduated last year. Shots fired, shots fired. Officers say Hopkins opened fire on police and Kalia. 19-year-old Kalia died from her injuries, and now prosecutors have charged Hopkins with murder. But to many, including Kalia's family, one question stands out. How did he get a bond? I want to know why. The Clayton County District Attorney's Office's administrative lapse, as confirmed by court records and District Attorney Tasha Mosley, allowed Hopkins to be free, despite the looming danger he posed. We did everything that we could um, with the bond, the bond conditions to ensure that she was safe. It was not a deliberate choice, it was a mistake on that 90 day. Kalia Jones' dreams and aspirations fell victim to this tragic oversight. Hopkins' chilling statement during the incident hinted at his potential for violence, as he threatened to shoot and kill her if confronted by the police. Questions and grief plagued Kalia's family, as they wonder why Hopkins was granted a bond after his previous actions. The legal landscape, governed by Georgia law, stipulates 90 days for obtaining an indictment following arrest. This window was missed, unintentionally leading to his release. The consequences were devastating. Clayton County prosecutors finally secured an indictment in March 2023, months after the critical 90-day period. However, it was too late for Kalia. A missed opportunity for justice, a mother's anguish, and a young life lost. After being released on bail, Cameron Hopkins, the suspect accused of kidnapping and killing his ex-girlfriend Kalia Jones, went on to commit another heinous crime. Despite previous threats and allegations, Hopkins abducted Jones once again and led law enforcement on a high-speed chase that tragically ended with her being shot and killed. As the narrative unfolded, it became evident that the system's mechanisms failed to prevent the unthinkable. The tragedy was compounded by a high-speed chase that ended at Lovejoy High School, where Kalia met her untimely demise. 
Her promising future was cut short by the same person who had posed a threat before. The mother of Kalia Jones shared a heartbreaking story. She revealed that Hopkins had been threatening their lives for months, and despite her pleas and despite her warnings, Kalia tried to help him. Hawkins kidnapped Kalia from her job, led police on a chase, and shot her near a school. Her mother knew something terrible would happen. Her mother said Hopkins called her after the shooting, screaming for help. When Cameron called me, my daughter was already dead. And he kept saying, Bay, wake up, Bay, wake up. And I said, Cameron, you shot her? This happened a year after he had previously kidnapped Kalia. The family believes the legal system failed to protect them, and now Hopkins faces murder and assault charges. The tragic fate that befell Kalia Jones should never have occurred. Her life was cut short by the actions of her ex-boyfriend, Cameron Hopkins, despite his history of threats and violence. This devastating loss could have been prevented if the system had acted differently. The errors in the legal process, including missed deadlines and a lack of proper oversight, allowed Hopkins to be released on bond even after a previous kidnapping incident. This failure has left Kalia's family and loved ones heartbroken, mourning the loss of a vibrant young woman with a promising future. The questions linger. Could more have been done to protect Kalia? Immediate action is needed to prevent such tragedies. We must strengthen early intervention programs for domestic violence, improve oversight of bond conditions, ensure prompt legal processes, and enhance the monitoring of released individuals. Collaboration between law enforcement and support services is vital, alongside restraining orders and counseling. Public awareness and legal reforms can make a safer environment and prevent such incidents in the future. Kalia's story is one of resilience, love, and a spirit that knows no boundaries. She remains a treasured memory, forever etched in the hearts of those who had the privilege of knowing the young lady with the biggest smile. Working at a local establishment, her dedication and warmth left an indelible mark on both her colleagues and those she served. With a personality that radiates positivity, Kalia's presence brought light to those around her. As her family strives to bring about change in her name, may her memory inspire a safer future for others and a renewed commitment to preventing such heart-wrenching losses. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.